Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are continuing our journey. We're taking a look at how to train your dragon part two. The first one was absolutely incredible. I think we all Fives. loved it. Fives across the board. So I cannot wait to see where we go with number two. Yeah, I am so surprised and kind of mad at myself, though, that I didn't see the second one. I watched the first one, haven't seen the next two. So this, I am definitely ready, willing, and able to catch the second one of How to Train Your Dragon. First time watch for everybody. Yeah. That first movie was such an incredible surprise for me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I anticipated it to be fun, you know, lighthearted, animated movie. I had no idea the kind of depth that we were going to get from that story and the kind of laughs and all around it. Yeah. Vibes across the board. Can't wait to see this one. All right, so without further ado, let's go! All right, we're back. This is Burke, the best kept secret this side of, well, anywhere. <laughs> Granted, it may not look like much, but this wet heap of rock packs more than a few surprises. You see, where most folks enjoy okay. hobbies like whittling or needlepoint, we Burkeans prefer dragon racing. For half a second, I was like, did you pick the right one? Because he was like reintroducing everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this, like Quidditch? Yeah. Did you want that? Here you go, babe. Did I tell you that you look amazing today? Because you do. Ugh. Come on, <laughs> Barf. Starting to stink around here. Oh, no. no it still hates you. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball. Well, here he found a new girl to hit yeah. on because he obviously can't go there. <laughs> <laughs> they have to drop <laughs> their sheep in the baskets. <laughs> for the twins. Fish legs on Snotlout Trail with none. And Hiccup is nowhere to be found. He's out on Toothless. What are you doing, Snotlout? She's my princess. Whatever she wants, she gets. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there like a motorcycle. Like it's a chopper. <laughs> now, dragons used to be a bit of a problem here. Okay. Now they've all okay. moved in. Well, <laughs> we have custom stables, a full-service dragon wash, <laughs> even top-of-the-line fire prevention, if I do say so myself. The black sheep. Black sheep must be worth, must be a, lot. worth a lot of points. I got a feeling we're going to see Toothless. Oh, they're not going to fire that black sheep in the air, this are they? This is your big moment. You guys are fighting for us, not? I'm totally winning. It's my glory. Oh, it's ruining everything. No sheep, no glory. <laughs> no sheep, no glory. <laughs> that is my future daughter-in-law. Oh. Oh. Starfly. Oh, well, I guess we're right. Yeah, no toothless yet. Astra takes the game! All of my hard work has paid off, and it's a good thing, too. The world just got a whole lot bigger. I suppose. Oh, I suppose you can travel yeah, a lot far, faster. Yeah. Wow, I Way didn't faster think of that. Than ships. Oh, and he's traveling oh, oh, fast. Yeah, it's all kitted wow. up in armor. You see what he's doing, though? He's laying down more aerodynamic. Yeah, he's in the tuck. Whoa. The combination of, like, every pet you could want. You want to give this another shot? <laughs> Look at he's Oh, he's got it all tacked out. Yeah. Maybe he's got a parachute or something. I feel like the margin of error here. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at that he's got a oh, wingsuit what is he batman now hey he's got look at that full-on wingsuit oh, he's oh look at ball oh Flare well, like came out of nowhere. We we gotta work on your solo gliding there, bud. Oh, he's matured a little, huh? Yeah. Well, it's been five years. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Looks like we found another one, bud. <laughs> oh, what? Do you want an apology? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you feeling it yet? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't hurt enough. One leg. Oh, and it's ugly. Dragons and Vikings. Yeah. Enemies again. <laughs> Just <laughs> about like a cat. Like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might find a few timber jacks in those woods. Maybe we'll finally track down another Night Fury. Oh, Afternoon, cool milady. <laughs> milady. <laughs> Where have you been? Avoiding my I'm doing like the oh, like no. bird dance. Yeah, yeah. You're the pride of Burke, son. And I couldn't be prouder. No chief could ask oh, for a better successor. I've decided. To make you chief. Hiccup, that's amazing. Oh. <laughs> By the time he turned around, I was gone. Huh. It, it's not me, Astrid. What an honor. I'd be pretty excited. You know exactly who you are. You always have, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fighting over the Fighting brick. Over stick. What you're searching for isn't out there, Hiccup. Oh, is that fire? Yeah. It's Mordor. <laughs> what a crossover. <laughs> oh. You know, you could have just taken Toothless to Mount Doom. <laughs> <laughs> it just blew fire in his mouth. That would have been great. <laughs> Saved us the whole journey. <laughs> Whoa, oh, we got here. Uh, it's like wooden logs and stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's some big paw prints. Oh. Oh, it's probably they don't know that dragons yeah. are. What's the tail? Tie those legs up. What are you doing? Back again. Flaming sword? Look, we don't want any trouble. <laughs> you should have thought of that before you stole all of our dragons. There are other dragon riders? You mean other than your thieving friend from last night? You tell me. How do you suppose we explain this mess to Drago Bloodfist? He's expecting a new shipment of dragons for his army by tomorrow. This is what he gave me last time I showed up empty-handed. Just give us back our dragon and we'll go. Strange, hostile person whom we've never met. Easy, buddy. You're on their land, bro. And this is Toothless. He says we're going. Rush him, lads! Sorry, come on, go, go. You will never hold on to those dragons, you hear me? Holy sh! that gave oh. me a high anxiety. Mm. I really thought they might lose them. Oh, yeah. the elder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she finally got one to pet. <laughs> That's the way. Any sign of him? Yeah, he's probably flown off the edge of the world by now. There he is. The Dad, can I have a word? Something you're itching to tell me? I'm next! Hey, how was ahead yeah, of you? If we could just talk... Excuse me, I've been here all day. You let the porch die oh. down again! <laughs> <laughs> He's back asleep! Seriously, I really need to tell you about this new land we came across. Another one? Any new dragons? We didn't stick around to find out. These guys are trappers. You two are going to get yourselves in serious trouble one of these days. <laughs> He's got all the attachments. <laughs> You'll have more important uses for your time. Once we make the big announcement. They are building a dragon army. Dargo Bloody Fist or something. Drago Blood Fist? Uh, yeah. Grand old dragons! What? No dragon or viking sets foot off this island! Because Drago Plugvist is a madman, without conscience or mercy. We fortify the island. It's our duty to keep the peace. This is over, Hiccup. Let's go find him and change his mind. Berk is what you need to worry about. A chief protects his own. Watch every stop. Hiccup, don't. I have to. This way! Hiccup! Oh boy, I got a bad feeling. Hiccup! Oh, she just. This wind will reach Drago by daybreak. <laughs> Off the port, water! 
That's one Night Fury, uh, one Deadly Natter, and that ought to make the boss happy, right? I can't have armed prisoners. How is this a plan? All it takes is a spark, and... <laughs> Once they see you as one of their own, even... The... <laughs> what game are you playing? I'm going to change his mind about dragons. <laughs> there is nothing a dragon won't do for you. May I? <laughs> Oh, who's this? Dragon Riders! I'll be down! It's not loud! Close. <laughs> <laughs> She's in love. Mikey, take me. Oh, what an entrance. I don't need to be rescued! <laughs> Well, didn't you just pick the wrong ship, eh? How is that irresponsible? Because war is what he wants, son! Gathering of chieftains to discuss the dragon scourge we all faced. Came a stranger from a strange land. He claimed that he alone could control the dragons and that he alone could keep us safe. We chose to bow down and follow him. Then see how well you do without me. Well you do without me. And from it, armored dragons descended. I was the only one to escape. Men who kill without reason cannot be reasoned with. I'm still going to try. I've had enough mutiny for one day. Don't worry, bud. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Uh -oh. This guy's just standing on top of the thing. Oh! oh. Oh, his, his uh, tail's not working. Uh oh. You left my dragon back there! Can't fly on his own, he'll drown! Hey! <laughs> watching it. Toothless. No, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whoa. Oh, he can do it too. Yeah. Uh, uh... Is that his mom? Oh, she recognizes a scar? C could it be? Should I know you? No. You were only a babe, but a mother never forgets. Oh, oh it is. Holy shit. Bored headed, just like his mother. Ah, uh, he you know he's like, he won't give up, Gobber. Nothing can hurt when he comes along as that night fury's at her. Oh, he's going to see the mask. You can't just say something like that and run off. Where have you been all this time? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks you were eaten by... Whoa, Oof. we got a lot of dragons. What if she's not starting an army? She's collecting them to protect them also. Yeah, could maybe. Be. Well, because she, she's she knew collecting them. Maybe she, she's not uh, blood vest. She's trying to keep them away from him, maybe. Who knows? I mean, obviously she's not blood vest, but I mean, they're not working together is what I'm getting at. This is where you've been for 20 years. You, you've been rescuing them. Do you like it? I don't have the words. 
<laughs> All just like a dog. Can I? Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, he's your age. Wow. <laughs> this snaffle fang lost his leg to one of Drago Bloodbist's oh, iron trap. Okay. Oh. Bubble Grunt was blinded by a tree snare. Did Drago or his trappers do this too? Well, crazy thing is. I'm actually the one who shot him down. What did your father think of your Night Fury friend? He didn't take it all that well. He changed. They all did. Everyone back home had dragons of their own. I tried as well, but people are not capable of change, Hiccup. Oh. He's not lying to you. Burke was a land of kill or be killed. Stop! You'll only make it worse! One night, a dragon broke into our house. I rushed to protect you, but what I saw was proof of everything I believed. Oh, oh. that's where he got the scar. This wasn't a vicious beast whose soul reflected my own. Oh, God, run! No, stop! Oh, God! You and your father nearly died that night. He. Must have thought I belonged here. The home of the great Bewilderbeast. Oh, the thing's still alive. I thought it was like a skeleton at first. A safe haven for dragons everywhere. Wait, that's the ice spitter? We all live under his care and his command. <laughs> you must be hungry. Uh, yeah, I could eat. Good. They should have been back with Hiccup by now. I don't like it either. What if... They need our help. It doesn't matter what he said if they've all been captured. Come on! Oh, the classic rescue mission gets trapped. Yep. If we don't turn up with dragons, and fast! Careful what you wish for! Do something! Hey, can you ride with me, Kenny? <laughs> Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, away. Just kill me now. That could be arranged. Starfire. Uh, Girl. Okay, I'll take you to Drago! Works every time. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not gonna end good. Uh. Hey, I, I I thought we were going to eat. Oh, we are! Basically eats like a humpback quail and spits it all out so for everybody else to eat. For everybody. Friday nights in Wisconsin. <sighs> <laughs> whoa, whoa! He's <laughs> <laughs> drawing it out. <laughs> yes, he's drawn again! <laughs> She's pretty much the dragon whisperer, is mm -hmm. what we're saying. Well, She's had a good 20 years with him. Yeah. Like, look at how much they trust him and pick five. up, and he's in five, yeah. I don't even feel the cold. I just feel free. But can you fly? He's <laughs> 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 doing it again. Oh, this time snow. Uh oh, did he lose his tail wing? We just about had it that time. <laughs> Sweep the leg. Yep. All this time you took after me. Where was I? Can we start over? I can teach you all that I've learned these past 20 years. Oh, look at that. Now, you can make those tight turns. <laughs> we will hey. change the world for all dragons. That sounds amazing. All right, now what's going to happen next? Now you and I can go talk to Drago together. We must protect our own. Oh, who's she hear that? Who do you hear that like from, that. too? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I got you here. Get this thing off me. Oh. Whoa, that's. What's down there? 
I'm thinking class five Leviathan, maybe six. Saga! As you can see, I am right on time. With the... Oh, or is that dragon right skin it, cloak? Yeah. You belong to me. So that's how he trains him with fear. Yep. Instead of with trust. No extra charge. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, how many? My men are hunting them down as we speak. They know we're missing and they have tracking dragons. Hiccup is gonna kick. Hiccup. He's not a problem. I alone control the dragons. He will blast through here on his night fury. You led them to me. We must attack the dragon riders' nest at once. Then we will take a bird. No! Oh, he, yeah, he was just protected him. by one. Yeah. Protecting Ert, son of Ert. He's been putting in all that work for Drago, and Drago's just gonna write him off just yep. like that. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! Dad, that there's something you need to know. Yeah, yeah. Tell me on the way. For core of the earth-shattering development. Just tell it out. Just Jesus. say it. You might want to take this one. Dad, can you put the sword away, please? I know years. what you're going to say, Stoic. What sign did I have that you could change, Stoic? This is why I never married. This <laughs> and one other reason. <laughs> one other. That's the one other reason. That's the one other reason. I don't think, I think he's and just going to grab her and kiss her or something. I see that now, but shout, scream, say something. You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Aww. There's dragon sniffling. <laughs> <laughs> what is under there? And he keeps. Yeah, I mean, it's using it to pull him around. I mean, is it going to be bigger than our ice dragon? What if it's another one of them? Oh, it could be. Thought it was the last of their kind. Steaming heap of dragon duck. Warn the others. Get him, you son of an errant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh, long oh, shot. Check every trap. They're here somewhere. The attention to detail and just everything on these ships is mm -hmm. just mind blowing. I don't know. You just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> chewing on the nails. <laughs> they keep I zooming mean, come in. On, come on. Yeah, that's what you're going to Thank you for saving my life. Now let me return the favor. Oh, I'm loving this guy's arc. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I think we did well with this one, Val. That's relatable with <laughs> just four like dogs. dogs. <laughs> that happens. I'll swim and sail on savage sea if you will marry me. No scorching sun. Well, so beyond my journey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Will you come home, Val? Will you be my wife once again? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you gotta figure out with what you're doing. Toothless? What's happening? Wow. How did they find her? Sorry, sorry. What a team now. <laughs> Oh, are they no. are they taking him out or capturing him? Trying to capture him. Yeah, it's whatever comes, keep hitting the mountain. We need to draw the alpha out. 
Oh, that's what they want. They want, they want the elf. They want the big dog. Ready the traps! Man, we still don't know what's pulling his ship, though. Oh. oh. Dragon Riders coming through! There you go. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like oh. napalm. Barret, son of Aaron! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at his cheeks! <laughs> Both of them just nonchalantly. Yeah, she's all smiles. Oh, oh, there's the alpha. That's your mother? Well, now you know where I get my dramatic flair. <laughs> <laughs> The Alpha. Now we have a fight. Come on, Toothless. Show them what you got, bud. <laughs> Attaboy. Oh, that's a killer okay. view. That was awesome. <laughs> Waited a long time for this. You cannot take out dragons. Now we get uh, to see. We get to see what it is. Yeah, see, it's yeah. another one just like it. Yep. Thank you. For you, my dear. There we oh, go. Always oh, stoic in action. He dropped the cloak, the or the dragon yep. skin. You, I want to burn. Oh, he's working them pretty good. This is incredible. Stoic! Oh. oh, that. Oh! He just gored it. Now they're going to listen to him. Finish her! No! Come on, Gobber! Right behind you, Stoic! <laughs> Stop! This is the great dragon master. What shame he must feel. Dragons. They, they are kind. I know what it is to live in fear. My family, take it. You need dragons to conquer other dragons. You need dragons to conquer people and to get rid of those who won't. <laughs> Pick up. So he who controls the Alpha controls them all. Look at that. Oh no, no. Uh, Toothless, come on. What's the matter with you? Stop! Snap out of it! Toothless, no! Toothless! Pick up! Dad, no! <gasps> no! No. Dad! Stoic. No, you. No. Oh, now Toothless is going to know what he did. No! Get away from him! Go on, get out of here. Get away. Good dragons under the control of bad people do bad things. Gather the men. <laughs> 
and meet me at birth! Toothless! May the Valkyries welcome you oh, come and on. lead you through Ew. Odin's great battlefield. May they sing your name with love and fury so that we might hear it rise from the depths of Valhalla. For a great man has fallen, a warrior, a father, a friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm not the chief that you wanted me to be, and I'm not the peacekeeper I thought I was. I don't know. You came early into this world. I feared you wouldn't make it. But your father, he always said you'd become the strongest of them all. And he was right. You have the heart of a chief and the soul of a dragon. Only you can bring our worlds together. That is who you are, son. I was so afraid of becoming my dad, mostly because I thought I never could. How, how do you become someone that great, that brave, that selfless? I guess you can only try. A chief protects his own. We're going back. Uh, with what? Uh, he took all the dragons? Not all of them. <laughs> oh, the babies. <laughs> That's uh, right. They're gonna be a little erratic. <laughs> yeah. Not, uh, not as well trained. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're babies. They don't listen to anyone. Just like us. What is your plan? Get to <laughs> push back and check Drago's heads up. I mean, their island is so small. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> Your chief is dead! Do we just lose the whole island? No. He took all the dragons! Trying to keep his focus off of Toothless! There isn't a dragon alive that I can't wrangle! Except for this one! Amateur. <laughs> Amateur. Yeah. Up. Okay, I I thought maybe all the all the Vikings got. Yeah, it doesn't work on the babies. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Sheep>. <laughs> it's like Plinko. <laughs> Ten points. <laughs> Why does he keep looking at that horn? Okay. You certainly are hard to get rid of. I'll say that. Hey. It's me, pilot. Come back to me. <laughs> and I remember he didn't fall under control of the last dragon, so that's come on. Mm -hmm. Come on, toothless fight! Try to take him. He will not miss a second time. They made you do it. Oh, he's fighting it. <laughs> come on. Fighting it. He's fighting come on. it. You'd never hurt me. How are you doing that? You are my best friend, but... Atta boy, that's it! Enough! Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. I'm done with this guy. Oh! oh. You gotta save him, though. Yeah. Come on! Yes! Come on! We need to get those two apart. Do you trust me, bud? <laughs> oh, boy. It's Holy like it's, it's, oh, it's, like, it's like Bloodsport! <laughs> Van Damme! It's, it's exactly what this one. is. 
Yeah. You and me as one. Oh, he's got to trust them. Take control of it! Now! <laughs> he's inverted. <laughs> oh, that's going to be big. <sighs> Oh, oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh. Hold on! Oh! No! Uh, look out, guys! <laughs> Oh. oh, that's new. Oh, look at that's that. That's brand new. Oh, someone is pissed. <laughs> He's, He's challenging the Alpha to protect you. Oh, they're all trying to snap out of it. They all are. Oh, oh they no, made no, their no, choice. No! no. This guy just needs to get eaten. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Quinn. He died. Hey, he just said... He just, <laughs> he just, he just hey, get eaten. He just said what we're all thinking. Hey. <laughs> Never! Come on! <sighs> Holy uh, shit. Look at this. Oh, just blast oh, him. Oh! Fight! Oh, hit him with the <laughs> big one. Oh, oh, I took the horn off. <laughs> oh, you want to know? I thought he was throwing him yeah. off. <laughs> oh, they're all, are they all going to like bow to him? Mm -hmm. Oh, even that one that he was always bowing to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at him, so like a proud. <laughs> We've all seen our dogs and cats do that, where they get yeah. all nice and proud. You never cease to amaze me, bud. Toothless, you know that doesn't wash your house. I knew you'd come. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's You'd make a good chopper. <laughs> Skull crushers. Gonna need somebody to look after him now. I'd be on it. <sighs> I'm really glad you're here, Mom. And here I'll stay. Hey, Ooh. hey. <laughs> it's got a wooden hand. Oh, so there's a ceremony. She just anoint him chief. I yep. think so. The chief has come home. All right. All right. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> 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 oh. A bit trampled and busted and covered in ice, but it's home. Those who oh, attacked cool. us are relentless and crazy. We stand for something bigger than anything the world can pit against us. Yeah. <laughs> you see, we have something they don't. Our dragons! <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, there was How to Train Your Dragon Part 2. And, uh, wow, answer. I don't know if you want to bring up the, the cast or whatever. I, I'm going to get right on that. Yeah, this, oh, man, this one was, this one was heavy. I mean, man, I, it still bothers me that uh, Toothless was taken under control oh. by somebody evil and, and took out Stoic. Like, that. I mean, we had the movie and like we had the finish and everything and, and everything was, uh, you know, ended well, but gosh, guys, I'm going to be honest that that still really bugs me. And I, I almost feel like there wasn't enough, uh, 
I don't know what the word, the word's not clarity, but I don't know if it's like a redemption or, or what I'm looking for, but man, that just, that just really, that just really hit me. And, uh, I would have liked to have seen, you know, a little bit more with, I don't know, a little bit more with, uh, you know, with, with hiccup and with toothless and, and what toothless was when he was under the control that he was forced to do. I mean, that was, that was heavy duty. Uh, but man, if, so let's take that. We'll set that aside. We'll discuss that. I think probably between the three of us later, uh, this movie was outstanding. Uh, just really good, man. They, they really cranked up the animation on this one. And then the creativity and the attention to detail that they had uh, was just top notch. Outstanding. If toothless, isn't the most lovable <laughs> animated creature. I think, that we've seen, I think, you know, for a while there, Entangled, uh, Pascal was was kind of top notch for a minute there after we saw that one. But I don't think anybody can touch Toothless from the the mannerisms that they gave him to the animation they did with it. Absolutely incredible. Uh, like you said, answer all the actors, the voice mm -hmm. actors just knocked it out of the park on this one. It's it's always so much fun to to try to pick up on the voices and who it is. And of course, we had you know Kit Harrington in there uh, as Eric. That was a nice surprise. But man, if if this one doesn't just sucker punch you right in the guts, like I haven't seen a, an animated movie that that hits this hard. And, and like I said, I'm still thinking about. I guess you'd probably call it Act Two, the end of Act Two, before we got the final Act yeah. Three with the big finish and the battle and everything. And like I said, I'm like that guy needs to go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Drago. Hey, needs, he, he I, just said what we were thinking. I was hoping that the big dragon was just gonna do one of these, where he flips him up in the air and he catches him in his mouth like an M and M and just <laughs> chomp him right down. That that's what I wanted to see. But uh, maybe a little much for for an animated. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we, we lost Stoic and such a. Oh, one of the worst ways yeah. imaginable. Uh, this one was was something else, guys. And again, I don't I don't think it's a. Oh look at the, oh I just got to get rid of that. <laughs> we, did, we did something else before it didn't do so well. But this one, five out of five answers wow. for for part two. I just, because the way it hit me, I can't. It, there's not a lot of movies out there that really get me like that. Uh, Mickey Rourke and the Wrestler is one of them where it seriously messed with me for like two and a half weeks. And, uh, this one is, is right up there in, in terms of the impact. Outstanding. Uh, well, where do, where do I begin? Uh, this was a great follow up. Um, like I mentioned right at the end is like, I just love how the beginning, it's like the, still the same hiccup from the, from the last one where he's like, yeah, this is, this is our land. This is this, this, this. But at the end, he's like, the people that attack us are crazy. But you know what? The people that defend are even crazier. And he just starts building and building, like, you know, giving you, getting you more and more, you know, ready to just fight like a chief should. And it just, his whole tone, his whole demeanor changed. Um, yeah, I hated that part too with, with Toothless and then uh, even when toothless came back to his senses for that brief moment and you know hiccup pushed him away and even with you know with uh velka saying hey come on man. you know it wasn't him and so it, it took and it took some good thinking to get the the young dragons because they don't listen yeah. to anybody but then the way they came back it was just this movie was just so well done i don't know what do you want to change on it i mean it, it, it was really good i just mm -hmm. And then I'm sure Oak will get to some lessons and some other stuff that really hit home. But like the effects were amazing, the cast was amazing, and I just love the overall tone of Hiccup throughout it. But then also, obviously, Toothless just acting like a when he became. I mean, is he alpha, the best? It's like a nice little, <laughs> like it showing its pride. Because uh, I, I remember my my dad telling me the story that my cat brought a mouse. And I was like, no, he didn't. He's like, he showed it right to me. Well, what did he do? He sat there like this. Because he's like, all proud, look what I did. I defended this house. <laughs> so, you know, and it's just so funny. So I loved it. So I'm going to have to, of course, give it a five as well. Because, yeah, I see some see some simulators to to our dog as well, especially from the last movie with the zoomies or just finding stupid things to get under and trying to, you know, get.
get the pets Mannerisms. for the last the last little bits to get the yeah. pets under your hand <laughs> and it was just amazing and then as we saw uh, m- maybe not a callback per se to uh super bad with the yeah <laughs> licking and oh with oh, with That's toothless of, it yeah. was amazing it's a I mean, is toothless not the best animated uh, uh, i don't if not character i he's gotta be we gotta find something i mean momo you know and oh, appa and, there's been so many lovable oh. ones yeah you know after watching uh, the, first, the first movie uh, you guys heard me say, like, I think this is about as, oh, as perfect as it gets for an animated film. Oh, um, you know, the, the people had said, oh, no, the, the other two are just as good. And I'm like, eh. It's a tall order. Uh, I think, honestly, I think this one, I don't even want to say it's better because I loved the first one so much. Oh, yeah. It was it was every bit as good, just in, in, in a different way, if I can say that. Of course, it was, um, you know, I think the theme of this one, if I have to, like, break down into Oak's lessons is, you know, the the mother sacrificed 20 years of being able to spend time with yeah. her son for doing what she thought was going to be best for him. Um, the father sacrificed his life protecting his son. And then at the very end, we saw Hiccup risking his life. Like, look, he didn't know for sure. I mean, he believed it in his heart, but he didn't know for sure that when he got up close like that with Toothless, that that was going to be the outcome. And so we saw the mother, you know, sacrifice. I mean, anybody out there who's a parent or, you know, and, and you think about having to spend 20 years away from your child, it's it's unfathomable. Um, but also anybody that's a parent knows that if, look, if you're, and I'm not saying a dad because, look, the mother mother's love is just as strong. And sometimes, mm-hmm. like, there, there's a reason why there's a, the quote, mama bear, right? Yeah. Um, so, but look, any parent would do the same thing Stoic did if their child was at risk. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think for a, a, even a, a, a second to throw myself in the line of fire for my son. So that was, you know, that was that was a, a strong thing. But then at the very end, Hiccup saying, you know what, like I believe in Toothless, and I'm going to do the right thing. You know, there's there's other lessons here. You know, there's, you know, uh, you know, Stoic and. Um, and his mom both tried telling Hiccup that this is somebody that can't be reasoned with. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a tough lesson to to teach, right? Because you want to believe that people can be reasoned with and people will see the good in things and people will be able to change. And that's what we saw in the first one is that people can change. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And we learned in this one, sometimes people don't. And sometimes when they oh, don't, I mean, sometimes they're just evil. It, sometimes you gotta, you just have yeah. to, you know, you just have to lay the hammer down, and, and that's that's what had to happen. And you know, when the other thing is, yeah. you know, for for about two seconds there, when Drago said he lost his family, you know, and lost his arm to dragons, you're like, okay, you can understand why he wouldn't like dragons. But then Hiccup called it out on, called him out on it, and said, this isn't about dragons, this is about power. And at the end, the guy fighting just for power over other people, he didn't hold a candle to the people who were fighting with purpose. And that's the biggest difference there. He was fighting for power. Hiccup and everybody on that island were fighting for purpose. They were fighting for their homeland. They were fighting for the dragons. And they fought with heart, not just for power. And that is why they came out victorious at the end well, this and, movie was and just look at and just look at that too real quick just like as soon as they were lost under the power they and they came back to their senses all they all ran back to each other and embraced each other yeah you know, so the dragons gonna, and the humans we're gonna get into this a little more i'm gonna quick throw up my score here i mean is this Please. Please. Not, not really, not really I mean, any surprises here. I mean, here. So, so far out of a possible thirty for two films, it's got a thirty. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> or I'm I mean, sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, 30, 30, 15, yeah. 15. 15, 15. Yep. I 15, 15. I almost forgot this, math. This movie was an in, incredible. Five out of five. Um, now, Quinn, you talked about wanting oh. to see. I shouldn't say five. You answer. talked about wanting to see um, Bloodvist go. <laughs> Go a, a little bit. Yeah. Go a little bit. Uh, bye bye. Maybe a little. Maybe a, a, a get his comeuppance. I don't know if I want to say come comeuppance, but for 
um, you know, for, for Hiccup and for the rest of the islands to get a little bit more vengeance. But maybe they didn't want to focus on that. Do you think, like, yeah. maybe that's why they didn't show it? Because Hiccup, I, that Hiccup's be above that, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, it's one thing if if like Stoic and, and Drago would have been having like this amazing sword and axe fight on the island. And it would be one thing if like Drago was going to throw a spear at, uh, at Hiccup and like Stoic jumped in the way and threw it. Like that's one thing. But the fact that he made Toothless be the one to take out Stoic, that's that, oh, that just got me. And that was where like, it was just, it was another level because we've seen you know the the parents maybe sacrifice themselves in in a battle or, or something like that or trying to save it but you never expect like essentially what is the family pet uh be controlled and be the one to do it and that's why it just it really bugged me guys it really did yeah well you know yeah. sometimes i think it's interesting because sometimes when animals do what animals are gonna do instinctually sometimes you can't blame yeah. them i i had some friends that live out west um uh, they live in Montana and they lost one of their goats and their goats were like they raised them from babies they lost one of their goats to a mountain lion and it was it was a sad situation but he said we can't be angry at you how are you going to be angry at a mountain lion for doing what a mountain lion look at you? Yeah. for all we know that mountain lion was trying to feed its its babies yeah. you know I mean so do you do you think I mean, I almost feel like well, there wasn't you can't, a guy. I feel like you can't. Yeah, you now. can't be. But you can't be mad at Hiccup. That's no, what no, I, I'm no, not no, mad no, at no, Hiccup. no. I'm, I'm mad right. at Drago for right, what he I'm, made yes, Hiccup. But do. I'm saying yeah. like that was that was a that was an important thing. You know, mm -hmm. Hiccup or excuse me, Hiccup wasn't mad at Toothless. Yeah, Toothless. Yeah, yeah. He was for that brief moment, yeah, but you know yeah, that he, yeah, you right, know yeah. that immediately had to tear him up inside. But I was gonna go back to the whole fact where she was like, "I know what you're gonna say. You're not gonna love me." and I, I knew it. I knew he was just going to just grab her, hug her, squeeze her, kiss her, you Say know. I just sweet. knew it like he did. I would have waited for how many years because, you know, he because th remember, she was like, there's no way you can change people or whatever. And Hiccup's like, yes, dad changed. Even though, as we found out, one of the biggest things why he probably hated dragons was because he thought one took his wife away. Yeah. And he even learned yeah, the whole to island. love dragons and believe in them and trust them through his son. And then, then he comes to find out oh my god my wife has been with dragons all this time doing all this stuff he, he had to be like over the moon you know and that's an inter really interesting point that you bring up their answer because in the first movie we just know that mom isn't there yeah. we don't have the context that a dragon as far as stoic knows a dragon was trying to take out his son and then a dragon flew off with his wife and he he watched that i yeah. mean yeah, it, there, there's that. there couldn't be anything more helpless I mean, even had a dragon, you know, taken her out right there, you can be you can be upset about it. But, but you the had flying, the, the flying off. Yeah. So I think we, you know, that's one thing that you, you almost like revisit your view on the first movie, not knowing what he was going through, and it yeah. helps you understand. And I think that's another thing is, and I think we talked about it in the first movie a little bit. Like, it's hard sometimes to judge people for things that you can't understand. Certain people go through certain things. And you can't always say, well, you shouldn't do that when, when you, you know, the whole walk a mile in somebody else's yeah. shoes. Yeah, because in that first movie, you're kind of like, oh, come on, Stoic, can't you see what's going on? The dragons yeah, are, are good. No, like, no matter how much yeah. Hiccup was trying to tell yeah. them. Yeah, and so now that we see this, it's like, oh, that's so much clearer. Well, you know, another thing that looking back on the first movie, Hic it doesn't feel like Hiccup knows what even happened to his mother. So Hiccup's trying to be like, no, these dragons are good. And the dad doesn't even tell him, like, hey, yeah. this is what happened to your mother. Because, like, yeah, he even says it when he meets his mom, like, whatever. It is. So that's where I sh we should have saw it coming that the, his mom was going to be in it because they talked a lot more about the mom. Yeah, and I, the didn't, I didn't, I, 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 yeah, I didn't I didn't see that coming. Now, cool. Oh, she's like his mother. Oh, this <laughs> and that, yeah. You brought up something really interesting. I shouldn't say interesting. Asking whether Toothless is the most loved animated creature in any movie and it's it's you know we watched um we watched tangled not that long ago i mean the horse and tangled the horse and the, and the, and the I mean, donkey and in 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 shrek i mean there's there's been multiple animated movies i'm sure you guys can drop a bunch but I oh think, we're just leaving I the movies think otherwise the really, momos. i think momo <laughs> appa i think it's just not I the think, last airbender version 
I think they were able to do something really unique here. And because when you have a horse, a horse is going to do horse mannerisms. When you have a For dog, it's going to do dog mannerisms. And I think the really interesting thing about this was, you know, there's there's certain movies like we've seen Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones and stuff, and there's dragon mannerisms. They threw that completely out the window, yeah. and they took literally the cutest and most lovable things from just about every animals. animal, dogs, cats. Uh, yep. You know, we saw in this one the two the, the doing like the bird dances yep. and stuff like that, yep. and it was like they they <laughs> fighting be, over a stick because you were working with a dragon. You know this this you know. I don't want to say mythological, but this, you know, fictional yeah, creature. It's like a blank slate. Yeah, you could yeah. do anything. I think that, I just, I think that was brilliant. I, I don't know. Yeah, when he's doing that, the head thing that cats do when they're patting at oh, something. Yeah, when, and it was just all the mannerisms. <laughs> or then the little ash and he's like batting at it yeah, and stuff yeah, it was, like that. It was just fantastic and, and the creativity in this and the attention to detail was outstanding. Just very smart. So kudos to everyone that worked on one and two. I'm I'm really excited for the finale, which I is the third one. I, I don't know if it's going to make the cut and this we'll kind of wrap it up with this. Like Quinn, you brought up this movie did get a lot heavier oh, than the first one. I, I don't know if it's going to make the cut. Like, I got, you know, it wasn't necessarily the scene of him losing his dad. Is when he started talking about like wanting to be like his dad, and it's it's been almost two years since I lost my dad. And I think like a lot of people, you grow up in your, you know, when you're young, you know, everybody great relationships. Then you get in your teenagers, and you know, half of us hate our parents. You know, and my, you know, my dad was he was he wasn't like. I don't want to say all parents today, but some ter parents today try to be like the best friend. My dad was the dad, you know? And then like, as you get older, you start to realize like, holy shit, my parents, like how lucky was I? And, and, and I know this isn't the case for everybody and, and, and I feel very blessed, but like my dad was a great person. And so when he started talking about his dad, it wasn't even like, I would have been okay with like, hey, the, the arrows and the funeral scene. Yeah. But when he started talking about his Doing dad, the voiceover I right after. Cover. I don't know if you guys noticed. I was a, oh, I noticed. I was a stage five wreck here, but I mean, it, it took a heavier tone, but it also brought, I think, more depth to the, yeah, to the film. It, it did. It definitely made it. It made it stand out and have that much more impact. Well, I, I could see it totally had an effect on you because it, it really wrecked you. And then obviously, you yeah, know, I was I, like reasons. I said, I don't know if it's going to yeah, make I mean, the cut, but I was a mess. I was so, a mess. yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see how it compares to because I'm sure we're going to be doing more uh, animated movies. And I, if there's something that has more of a gut punch than this, I'd be surprised. Oh, uh, we have one more How to Train Your Dragon coming up, which I'm really excited for. How I. And I heard the third one is really good too, just from from people that I told that we're doing these three, and they they absolutely love three. It says it's a great ending, so I I can't wait to watch. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>